Hello viewers. I am Dr. Pankaj Valecha and today we will talk to you about mild osteoarthritis of knee. In our previous video, we told you how the process of osteoarthritis begins. These patients who have developed weak cartilage, which is also called chondromalacia, if they do not change their lifestyle, by which I mean decreasing their body weight, improving their muscle strength by doing regular knee exercises, then the process of osteoarthritis continues to progress further. And that's how a patient who had a weak cartilage reaches mild osteoarthritic phase. I must also tell you that at this stage, you should not self-treat it or you should not neglect it. So what are the symptoms by which a patient can understand that probably I am developing mild osteoarthritis? The first symptom is pain, which is more than discomfort and then it increases as your activities increase. Activities of daily living also make you uncomfortable. Unlike the previous stage where you only had pain or vague discomfort, at this stage you also have swelling in the knee, which could be less or which could be more. And you may also experience occasional crepitus. Now what is a crepitus? Crepitus is nothing but crackling sounds which come from your knee joint. I would also like to tell you that anybody who has a crackling sound coming from the knee joint without any pain, without any swelling or without any symptom must not be a cause of concern. But if you have pain, you have swelling and then you have crepitus, then definitely you must go and see your doctor. So if you have these symptoms, then you should go to your doctor. We usually ask for an x-ray, which is a standing weight bearing x-ray of the knee to see whether the joint space is equal or is reducing. Usually at this stage, either the x-ray is normal or there is a very minimal reduction of the joint space. We also ask for a serum uric acid levels because increase in serum uric acid levels can also give rise to joint pain and swelling. The most important part is to discuss the preventive and treatment strategies of a mild osteoarthritic patient. I would like to re-emphasize here that knee exercises are very, very important. If you continue to do knee exercises, then the the muscles gain strength and the joint gains flexibility. So you get the best of both worlds. That is stability with painless mobility. Any exercise which increases your pain must be stopped and you should discuss it with your doctor. If your uric acid levels have come higher, then you need treatment accordingly. At this stage, we also introduce knee joint supplements. We have been using supplements called glucosamine sulfate, chondroitin sulfate, and hyaluronic acid from a very long time and they have been giving decent results. Of late, since last few years, we have started using undenatured collagen type 2 and Bozzevelia serrata. Now these two molecules have become an essential part of our treatment strategy. They not only improve the strength of the cartilage, but they are also excellent anti-inflammatory. Now by anti-inflammatory action, we mean they not only uh, decrease the swelling, but they also improve the pain. And most of our patients who have been put on these molecules for a few weeks, they do not require any painkiller, which is a very, very good sign because we do not want to push painkillers into your body. They are harmful, we all know it. So knee exercises, along with control over your weight, along with a healthy lifestyle, and taking proper supplements as suggested by your doctor should make a nice combination for treatment of your condition. I would like to tell you that you must not treat it at home. You must not neglect your pain. You must not think that I twisted my knee and that's why I have pain. You must visit a doctor and that helps us in treating your condition better and preventing the further progression of osteoarthritis. Thank you very much.